Better Living Through Regenerative Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 403. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community's goal is to bring up people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our December 13th, 2020 episode of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is better living through regenerative communities. And I'd like to break that down because what one community is creating, what we are open sourcing and free sharing are all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to construct regenerative communities. One community will be the first, the prototype regenerative community designed to, to flesh out all the details that we've been designing for the last 10 years to show what it all looks like and to create a place where anybody who is interested can come and visit and experience what one community is and see what better living through regenerative communities looks like. You can come and stay in an earth bag home. You can come and visit the city center. You can come and eat the locally grown fresh food. You can come and view and experience, see what the education program looks like. You can see what the energy infrastructure looks like, all of which is being open source and free shared so it can be replicated as either complete teacher demonstration hubs or as individual components. So everything you see happening in the background of the video here is what we're open sourcing and people will be able to come and stay and see what all that's about. And so we want to demonstrate better living through regenerative communities in such a way that can be replicated anywhere in the world, but also so that people from anywhere in the world can come and experience it, kick the tires, see what it's like, and, and validate for themselves whether or not it's something that they want to do. And then our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and when people visit to demonstrate it as exciting and enjoyable enough such that they'll want to replicate it and so the idea will spread its own. If we can accomplish that, we can create a sustainable world within our lifetime. Incorporating, involving, including, and uh, enrolling and engaging everybody on the planet that wants to. Creating teacher demonstration hubs around the planet so that anybody that's interested in something like this can go and see an example of that that matches their values and their goals or have access to all the open source plans, tools, resources, and tutorials so that they can take that as a foundation and design their own version of a sustainable regenerative community. And so in so doing, providing a way of, better, of life that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. So to do this, we're tackling each of the different major foundations of a sustainable civilization, including the physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing. Everybody knows about those. And combining them with the emotional foundations that we've identified as, and we call, highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to economics, highest good approaches to educa education, and true earth stewardship. Putting this all together to create the complete model. And in so doing, the better living aspect of it are homes that will last longer, cost less, and don't include toxic materials. It's food that's grown without pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, so it's not sprayed with poisons, and it's locally grown, so it's fresher, more nutritious. It is energy infrastructure that is sustainable, so that it reduces the cost of living while not destroying our planet. It's an education model that is child and, and parent-centric, so that individuals, parents that want to be involved can participate, and so that children have a hand in the actual creative process of their own lesson plans. So it's designed specifically to leverage the strengths of the child, the learner, and I really say learner because it's not just for child, it's for all ages, but mainly focused on children, so that straight, it leverages the strengths of the, of the child, the learner, so that they can use those to learn the areas that they're not as strong in. And that whole program is already designed on our, on our website. Uh, it's also for the fulfilled living aspect. You know, if it's not more fun, if it's not in, or nor, if it's not more fun, if it's not more enjoyable, then what's the point of doing it? You know, so the whole regenerative community model is designed to include a social and recreational aspect that is built directly into the highest good society fabric of what it is that we're doing. And all this is optional. So if people look at that and go, oh, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just focus on the housing. Great. Oh, I just want to focus on the energy. Great. I just want to focus on food. Fantastic. Just the education program. Doesn't really require a community at all. It can be done as a home education program. But for people that want to experience the complete social and recreational benefits of community living, 
there's a model for that as well designed to provide hundreds of hours of recreational activities all within walking distance as part of the contribution to the community so that if somebody wants to play a you know a pickup game of soccer or if they pick up game of basketball or if they want to do a reading club or a stamp collecting club or an art class or learn a foreign language or if they'd like to you know do card games or board games or something whatever it is that they want to do learn a different skill or learn about something classes all that is incorporated into the one community model to provide an environment that is way more enriching, way more growth focused than even the most densely populated metropolitan areas because everything is within walking distance and everything is free. Everything is included with the environment. And we'll be sharing these items with any of these options, these classes with anybody that visits as well so people can experience that better living is a reality through these regenerative communities. And if they like what they see, they can take it all and replicate it for themselves, reproducing around the world so that people have more and more options. If we accomplish this, if we can create a self-replicating model by demonstrating it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread its own, then we can create a sustainable world within 30 years. How do we do that? By creating virally replicable, sustainable communities based on this model, based on everything you see happening in the background of the video here, so that people can take what they like and replicate it, and if we can, repli if we can inspire people to replicate this such that our first community inspires two more to start the year after that, and those three working together inspire four after that, and those four plus three previous, those seven total, inspire eight, then 16, 32, 64, Multiply that out over 30 years, and you've included every single human being on the planet. But we don't need every single human being on the planet. We only need, you know, 5 or 10%. And we could positively impact the lives for everybody. We could move, shift our entire civilization to one that works for everyone, to a highest good of all perspective on living, and change the paradigm to simultaneously address the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through a model like this. So this is what One Community is doing. We're an all-volunteer, non-profit organization, non-governmental organization. I'm a volunteer as well. We've had over 500 volunteers contribute to our project so far, and we have designed amazing things and are just a couple years away now from being able to start construction as we continue to complete all the details and all the specifics and wrap it all up so we can build all this, double check all of our work, add video tutorials, add more written tutorials, downloadable PDFs, update everything that we've been working on so that we know that it is accurate because we've actually constructed it and hopefully and inspire the next two villages to begin and, and producing everything to make that possible. Easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. So this is what we're up to. Stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to see bullet points on each of the major components of our project. Uh, check out our written blog if you'd like to see details and specifics on everything that our team, has, our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week. And uh, as I say at the end of every video, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.